uh, port infrastructure, efficient port infrastructure and services. There's a strategic relationship between port, import, and export. You have touched deeply on it tonight. With what we have today, a country of about 200 million population, with a far bigger economic potential than Ghana, Cote d'Ivoire, Kenya, Egypt, Morocco, uh, we have you know, a port um, inefficiency that is crippling the performance of our economy. If elected president come 2023, what would you do differently to improve efficiency of our port infrastructure and services? Thank you. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. And, uh, and you know that 20 years ago, the biggest port in terms of operation, the busiest was Singapore. In 20 years, Singapore have moved from number one to about number four or five today. Because the port of Shanghai, other ports have come up, three have come up in China. Even Rotterdam, that used to be the biggest, the few have all gone. So these things change you as quickly as possible. The reason why you still have the inefficiency kind eh, is that people live off that inefficiency. We're going to remove them. There's nothing in it. Post authority is something I've followed. Are you aware that Nigerian Post Authority is the only port that I know in the world that have office outside this country of operation? They have office in London. They even have guest house in London. Can you believe it? For running a port in Nigeria. We're going to dismantle this confusion and get the country to work. That's what we're going to do. It's simple. There's nothing, there's nothing, it's not a rock. I keep saying it's not a rocket science. It's been known. People have to do the right thing. Port is not difficult. Nigeria is lucky that we have ports all over the place. All, all these oceans you see are ports. What is happening to a bomb? What is happening to look at the Podakot uh, ocean terminal that started by Shagari? See, today, it's not functioning to how it should. Look at Warren. There's so many places everywhere in Nigeria is port. And you cannot just open it up. Because, but people deliberately don't want it to be opened up because if it opens up, they won't have the confusion. And that's what is happening everywhere in Nigeria. They don't want to open up the economy where people's talent and hard work will match up the opportunity because they will not have anything to steal. How would you change it? What would you do specifically to turn that around, to change that scenario? It's really bring private sector to build ports and manage it. That's what is happening everywhere in collaboration with the government. Mm -hmm. Singapore lives all, only off ports. I can tell you people who live off ports everywhere, except Nigeria. All right. Claudia, hi. Hi. Go ahead. Good evening, Your Excellencies. Good evening, everyone. My name is Gloria Sien.